Hello guys, in this video we are going to uh, set up Jenkins on GCP instance. So first we create an instance then we install uh, Jenkins using a official documentation of Jenkins installation on Ubuntu. So first uh, go to compute engine. Click on create. Give the name your instance Jenkins. Choose your region and zone. I keep this default and choose your machine configuration. I will choose series and one and choose machine type. I will choose four CPU, 15 GB memory. And then uh, here you can choose your OS operating system I will choose uh, Ubuntu so we are going to install on Ubuntu and choose the version 18.04 LTS and choose your uh, uh, boot disk type and the size I will choose 50 GB so you can uh, choose as per your requirement select allow full access to all cloud APIs firewall check all the boxes and create so before setting up this instance so we have to uh, create a one firewall rule so in this firewall rule we are going to expose some ports like 8080 through which we are going to access Jenkins dashboard so go to BPC network page here you can define your external IP address so you can reserve your static IP address and so we are going to def uh, define firewall here so create a firewall rule define your firewall rule here Jenkins Jenkins and give the description network default and direction of traffic ingress action on match allow here you can uh, choose specified service account in targets in this project choose your uh, service account and define your IP range so I will uh, choosing uh, 0, .0, 0, 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 so it will take all IP ranges so here uh, we define protocols and ports so we specified uh, protocols and ports we are using TCP and here we defining a range of ports that we are going to expose on this instance so we are use, uh, defining 8000 to 9000 ports and then you can create this firewall rule once this uh, firewall created go back to your uh, compute engine so here click on this Jenkins instance and go, click here edit and go to the firewall section and attach the network track that is Jenkins that you created in a firewall so now your instance is ready to access the uh, uh, the exposed port 8000 to 9000 so uh, between this uh, the Jenkins is using 8080 ports so we can access the Jenkins dashboard so save go back now 
instance is ready to install Jenkins. So we are using SSH. Through SSH, we are connecting to this instance terminal. So let's see the official documentation of this Jenkins installation. So we are choosing this installation Jenkins Linux. So in this Linux, uh, there is several Linux distribution. So we are going through Debian and Ubuntu. So you can also see the documentation for Fedora, Red Hat, CentOS. So in Debian and Ubuntu, so these are the steps for uh, installing Jenkins. Before installing Jenkins, we have to check uh, Java version. So installation of Java. So we have we first update the repository. Then we are pick one the option and install it. So we are going to uh, use this command for Java installation. Now we are going to installing Jenkins. Before installing Jenkins, we have to check for Java version. We have to check Java is installed or not and also we are checking for version it will uh, this command will display the Java version if it is installed so it's saying Java command is not found that means Java is is not installed on this instance so we have to install Java first so we have to update the repositories use this command to install java open jdk 11 Now open JDK setup is successful. Now check the Java and uh, same command Java version. Now our Java environment is uh, set up and is running. So this is open JDK 11.0.10. So now uh, Java is, in, is installed successfully. Now we, we can proceed for uh, Jenkins installation. So this is the uh, this is one requirement of the Jenkins. So we have to satisfy this requirement first. So these are the command uh, we are following for installation of Jenkins. Okay. So second command is for adding repository to apt get. Now updating the repository. Now last command is uh, for install Jenkins. Now Jenkins is uh, installed successfully. Now we can check the Jenkins is running or not using a system CTL Jenkins uh, status Jenkins so it is active and running fine as per your project requirement so you have to install all the test or build uh, tools that is required for your uh, a project like JIT, Docker and other uh, tools uh, that is required in your project. So now we are going to access the Jenkins dashboard. So we are going to uh, back uh, this BM instance page. Now copy this uh, URL.
पेस्ट हेयर कोलन एट जीरो एट जीरो नाउ वी सक्सेसफुली इंस्टॉल्ड जैनकिंस नाउ वी आर सींग द जैनकिंस फर्स्ट टाइम इंस्टॉलेशन पेज सो दिस इज द पाथ वेयर योर सीक्रेट पासवर्ड इज इज स्टोर्ड सो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस पाथ एंड यूज कैट कमांड टू डिस्प्ले फर्स्ट वी हैव टू यूज सूडो देन यूज कैट कमांड एंड पेज द पाथ so this is uh, secret password copy and paste here so uh, first time installation this password is required so you can uh, browse uh, copy this path and use a cat command to display the content of this initial admin password file so continue so we going to uh, set up uh, plugins so we choosing this first uh, option install suggested plugins now suggested plugins are installing one by one so you have to create a admin user first so you you have to provide username password and full name and email address so define create your password enter your email address and then save and continue so this is instance configuration this is your jenkins url so you have to provide the jenkins url so this is ip address and this is the port on which this jenkins server is running save and finish so now jenkins is ready to use start using jenkins now this is the jenkins dashboard here you can see lots of option here to so start building your software project and set up a distributed build so you can add different different nodes uh, into this jenkins so one jenkins uh, server is your master and you can add your slave nodes to this jenkins okay so we have to go to this manage jenkins option first so we have to manage the jenkins here uh, you can configure your system and security so first we see the security glo uh, configure global security so here we find the authorization strategy so we are going to use this matrix based security so uh, in this there is a two user and group already defined here anonymous user so we are going to give uh, overall rate for anonymous it will uh, only uh, browse the pages of the dashboard and also you can add the user so we are going to add doctor ai happen demo yeah so we will uh, making uh, this user as a administrator so uh, as uh, uh, admin access to this jenkins okay fine and you can also define the authenticated user what uh, can do so you can define as per the role 
apply and save the settings dismiss and also go to the manage plugins and here you can install uh, plugins that uh, you required so here uh, installed plugins are already suggested plugins that's why these uh, plugins are installed okay fine so here you can install the plugins now you can manage the credential Jenkins or you can add click on add credential so you can add the credential so which kind of this uh, credential so you can select user name with password github app secret file secret text certificate okay so you can define as per your uh, application use which application you are using so you can define docker github so you can save the credential of docker and uh, github and go back to uh, manage jenkins so uh, this is uh, all about the manage credential so you can configure the credential provider so which uh, credential uh, provider you can uh, available to access so here uh, only selected uh, so you can see folder credential provider jenkins credential provider user credential pro provider so you can uh, we are going to use this all available S apply and save so we are keeping this default so here you can manage your users so you can create a new user here using create user so you can define the username password full name email address okay so here uh, this is uh, about the Jenkins installation and the manage Jenkins setup so in manage Jenkins setup we see how you can uh, authorize your uh, uh, user as per the role and how you can set uh, to this uh, matrix based authorization so this is a uh, whole about the Jenkins installation and uh, in the next video we are going to see how we can use this jenkins with our uh, our github project so we automate the test and build process uh, in this uh, jenkins we will uh, define the freestyle project and pipeline projects so we will see you in, in the next video stay safe thank you guys